Hi, Aaron Sylvan here with a quick tutorial to show you how to fix the nadir in your 360 videos. What do I mean nadir? I'm not talking about this guy. I'm talking about the bottom of the view. In astronomical terms, the zenith is what's directly above you and the nadir is what's directly beneath you. Put differently, you can think of it like this. In a 360 video like this, the nadir would be here and the zenith would be here. And I'm going to show you how to take out the tripod using Autopano Video and Autopano Giga. Let's work on this one. The 360 video looks okay, but we really don't like this tripod down at the bottom. Let's get rid of that. To begin, we start in Autopano Video. Here's our file, and we're going to need to edit in Giga, where we handle the stitching. Here we go. Here's how simple it is. Click on Rotate. We're going to change our perspective to have the pitch set to 90. Click Transform. That points our view directly down. Let's zoom in and we can see the tripod. Here's what we want to get rid of. We create a new layer by clicking this icon that looks like a folder. This new layer, double click that, we need to change the name to say Patch, capital P, lowercase a-t-c-h. It needs to be written exactly that way or else this trick won't work. Must be called patch. Okay. Next, we're going to click to add a file and I'm going to take a logo. I recommend using a transparent ping for your logo that's opaque in the center and has the edges cut out. Here's my file. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. We've got a beginning. Doesn't look exactly how we want. Watch again. I'm going to click the move button. And now there are controls for adjusting the panorama and controls for adjusting the picture. What I want to do is to adjust the picture. Click here because we're going to adjust the size of the logo. Now move the mouse over to the number three. In this case it's three because we have two cameras and item number three is the logo. So if you had six cameras this would be item number seven. The cursor turns to a hand. Click the mouse and then drag to the left to make it smaller or the right to make it bigger. So you can do this by eye and I'm going to adjust that logo to be what I think is the minimum size necessary to cover the tripod adequately. And let's get in a little bit more closely. Now what we're seeing is low quality rendering which is why we've got these doubled lines. That's because we're not in blend mode, we're in move mode. Don't worry about that, it'll be fixed later. If you don't like where the logo has been placed for any reason, you can change it by clicking this tool and then put the mouse again on the number three and you can drag and move the logo from one place to another. So position the logo optimally. You can also rotate the logo. I generally like to have the logo pointing in the direction that the viewer is meant to be watching. Right? It's a 360 video. If the subject is in one direction and the viewer looks down to the ground, they may get disoriented and not know which way to look up to see the action. So the logo can help to point them in that way. In this case, the logo has text on it, so I'm going to align the logo in a way that matches the boards on the deck. Click here, click here, and... Okay, I like the logo placement. Going to zoom back out. And now we have one last step. I'm going to click Rotate. And where we previously rotated 90 degrees in pitch to see the tripod, now we're going to rotate negative 90 degrees to restore the view where it was previously. So I click negative 90 on pitch, click the Transform button, and now we're back to where we were. Click Save, flip back to Auto Pano Video, and now you can already see the logo rendered right here on the bottom of the screen. If we look around, you can see what it looks like. And since I'm satisfied with this, I'm going to click the Render button, and we're going to have a new movie just as soon as that finishes rendering. So here's our movie. You can look around. You don't see a tripod. You do see a logo. It's a nice branding opportunity for the creator of the video, but can we make this feel more professional, more immersive? For one thing, pay attention to where you put the tripod. In this sitting room, for instance, everything looks okay until you look down and see that there's a logo on the coffee table. It really doesn't make sense in this context. A better move would be to place the camera on the floor, like this. We have a very similar shot here, 
but now you can look around the room without being obstructed by the logo so early on. It makes a lot more sense on the floor than on the coffee table. Back to that shot of the deck, here's another example of what not to do. Up here, if the camera goes on that handrail, we get a better view of the ducks. And overall, the scene looks good. There's nice spacing with the house in the background. However, if you look down, look down on the handrail at the logo, it's very strange. It makes no sense. Why is this logo a circle on top of a horizontal railing? So this is all the more reason why you really want to have the tripod on the floor or something like the floor. For the best possible results, before your shoot, take the 360 camera that you're using and take a picture of the floor underneath where the tripod's going to go. Also, at the end of your shoot, take it again. Why? Because for one thing, you might have forgotten, and for another, the character of the light could have changed between the beginning of the shoot and the end of the shoot. This way, you'll have two options for what will give you the best match. Now, what do you do if you forgot to take a picture of the floor? I'll show you how to fake it. Let's open our file in Autopano Video. Here's the real-time preview. We're going to max out the resolution since it defaults to a low number. I'm going to max out the resolution. Click here to, uh, to pop out the window. Click here to magnify it as big as we can. And let's see if we can find a nice swatch of the floor that looks like what it's supposed to be without the logo. Okay, um, here, I see a lot of ground that looks similar to where the tripod was, except the lines are converging on the sides, and I don't like that. So I'm going to see if I can twist this around somehow. Sometimes the answer lies with, uh, with setting it vertical. And now I've got some pretty straight segments of the floor. Take a screenshot now, and uh, on the Mac, uh, that's Control Command Shift 4, and then I draw a rectangle. On Windows, you'll have to look it up, okay? So now I'm going to take a floor segment that's bigger than where the tripod goes, copy that, open up Photoshop. I need to make the edges soft, so I'm going to kill the background and lasso a chunk out from the middle. Feather that by, say, four pixels. Select inverse. Now we've got a section of the floor that looks like where the tripod belongs. I'm going to save this file as transparent PNG. And let's open that up in Autopano Giga. Giga, remember, is where we did our stitching. So I'm going to edit this. Here's our file. This is where we patched the nader with the, uh, with the logo just a few minutes ago. I'm going to remove that, same as before, we're rotating, adjusting the pitch, transforming so that we can see what's on the bottom, going to add a picture, that picture is the deck patch file we just created, open it up here, and now we've got this image 4, I'm going to delete the, um, uh, the, the old logo patch. Oops. And now we're going to adjust this to line up our patch with the, uh, with the boards that are on this floor. Adjust the size. I'm zooming in. And now here's our patch. We need to rotate it 90 degrees, I see. Now I've got to figure out which of these boards is supposed to be which. Maybe we want to move this. Okay, I feel like I've adjusted the lines pretty closely. Let's switch to blend mode and see what this will really look like. Okay, if you look carefully and you know where to look, you can see the edges, but for the most part, if we zoom this back out, remember the viewer isn't going to be focusing on this particular spot. I think what we've got is going to work pretty well. Let's click rotate, set the pitch back to the original orientation. We're going to save our work, close Giga. Now we see the changes are reflected in Autopano Video and uh, we're going to render it. And then in just a moment, I'll show you how that rendering came out. 
So here's our finished result. You'll see that you can look around. There is no tripod. There is no logo. It's just the scene. We're immersed in it. And if you stare at the floor really carefully, you will be able to find the places where the patch happened. But remember, we did this in just about two minutes. If you have good source material, and if you patch it in carefully at high resolution, then you won't be able to see the tripod, you won't be able to see the logo, and you'll have the most immersive video that you're able to produce. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Sylvan.